Coach, first let's talk about this past week. Congratulations in the Battle of the Woods. You guys uh, win a great game, 35-31 to 31, over your rival Blythewood team. But, gosh, i got to talk about what everyone's talking about. Rudy Mitchell, yeah. 467 yards, four touchdowns. What? Yeah, I tell you, it was an amazing night. You know, that's the only word I could come up with that night when they asked me. He just, uh, we just kept feeding the ball, and uh, nobody knew exactly how many yards he had, but it was a lot. And uh, to find out he broke the school record and probably a couple other records throughout the state uh, that night. So uh, it's, it's, it's a, you know, awesome feeling to have a guy do that, and uh, especially against a rivalry team, and uh, just a big night for him. And the fact that it was in a, it, it was all legitimate yardage because oh, it was legit. in a game yeah. that went down to the wire. Oh, it was, it was a close game, and every yard, you know, mattered. It was, uh, you know, we, we, we knew, we, we had expectations we could run the football. We didn't know that we could run it like that. And, uh, uh, you know, a lot of those uh, runs were earned runs as well as the blocks up front were, you know, open holes for him. And he made some spectacular uh, plays and cuts and so forth. So uh, Rudy's, Rudy's a special guy. He's got a lot of talent. And uh, hopefully he can uh, repeat that again. I don't know if he'll ever repeat that again, but hopefully we can do it again this week. Uh, it's going to be a big task for us uh, against a pretty tough uh, Dutch Fork team. So uh, we, we know Captain Obvious. Yeah. <laughs> it's you, not going to happen again. Yeah, you don't think that uh, they think you're going to run the ball. Do you? No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I don't think Tom's figured that one out. I don't, I don't think he's worried about right. stopping a run, is he? <laughs> hey, uh, the last four games for Rudy, just to stay on him for a moment. Uh, four games ago, 10 carries, 191 yards in one half. Three games ago, 20 carries, 188 yards and four and five touchdowns in one half. And then at Ridgeview, you kind of gave him a night off, 15 carries for 115, and then 467 on Friday. That's 961 yards, but he sat two complete halves out. So essentially, that's in three games, not not for as far as amount of time played. That's averaging 320 yards a game, or you could just say 160 yards a half. Did you ever foresee this kind of production? I mean, you know, with Gosh. the line up front that we have, you know, we expected to have some big games and some mm -hmm. big, you know, but. Uh, Obviously, we didn't think we were going to do that the other night. Um, Rudy's Rudy can run. He's 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 again a special, talented runner, and, and the guys up front block for him really good uh, with those two shrine bowlers and some other guys that you know that are deserving as well. Uh, you look at Jalen Wilson, left tackle, had his best game of the season. Uh, coming in, playing for Emmanuel Scott. Chris Mitchell at left guard had a big night. And uh, tight ends. Uh, Carrington Hicks played uh, defensive end, uh, played tight end the whole night, back and forth. So uh, we had some other guys step in to, to help Rudy and make those that, that thing happen the other night. All right, Dutch score four coming up on Friday. Uh, obviously, this is everybody's already got that game circled for Friday. Uh, what 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 do you anticipate? Uh, I mean, you know, big game last year too. Came down to us and Dutch Fort. We were undefeated, and and uh, we knew that this game again, if we could get ourselves in this position, be a, probably for the region championship. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, a couple of things that got to happen as well. But we know that this game right here is a big one. Um, you know, we don't want to go out there and lay an egg like we we felt like we did last year. Uh, we we know they're going to stop the run. Uh, that's going to be their game plan. Uh, we're going to have to be able to throw the football, keep them honest, uh, catch them sleeping back there maybe. Uh, again, we're still going to rely on you know what we do best, and, and hopefully we can uh, move the chains. Defense has got to play outstanding. Uh, again, they, they put up on some points as well. They played some good ball games. And uh, they got an athlete, a quarterback that can run and throw it. They've got two really good receivers uh, that they get the ball to. And, and so, um, again, it's going to be a tough matchup. It's going to be a tough night. But, we, you know, this is what we play for. This is it. And uh, our guys, I hope, are up for the challenge. And we're going to get ready today, tomorrow, Wednesday, and walk through Thursday and hopefully show up Friday and play. Do you think that last year, the way things went down after starting undefeated and, and they, they got you pretty good over here in the rain, it was kind of a rotten Yeah, it was one of those games had a couple of uh, I think turnovers. turnovers. Yeah. We had some delayed games, couldn't ever really get the groove. Uh, just, you know, we, we got to overcome those anyway. Sure. You know, it, either way, you, you can't make an excuse. And so uh, hopefully we can go out and, and give them a better game this year and, and uh, hopefully come out on top. Is that something that you use as a kind of a rallying cry that, hey, we, we got to we remember last year, or is this just completely? Well, new? I mean, you know I, think, what I mean. I think in, until you beat Dutch Fort, mm -hmm. until you beat uh, you know the 
Burns, the Dutch Forks, and the, the teams that have established that dominance year in and year out um, and played for state championship games and won them. Until you beat those teams consistently, you, you haven't ever got yourself up there. So um, a good 8-1 eight and, eight and one record's good right now. 9-0 and oh was good last year. Uh, but you hate to lose this one and, and lose the region or have a shot at the region. So um, this is a big game. So um, we're, we're excited and that we're in this position. Just uh, hope we can finish. Well, Coach, uh, you, the great job that you've done, not just this year, but last year too. You've only lost two regular season games up to now in the last two seasons. You're our Crescent Construction Midlands Football Coach of the Week. Thank and I uh, want to congratulate you on a, a big win this past Friday with or without 467 yards. Helped a little bit. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, you know, I couldn't do it without my assistants. So, you know, I want to shout out to Coach Bonneville at O-Line, O-C, uh, Coach Pelham over there on defense. He does an outstanding job getting those guys going. So, uh, it, I, I could, it's not me. It's not It's not just Coach Summers. It's, it's a whole group of guys. And the coaching staff that we have here is that excellent. And the players, they bought into our system. They believe in what we're, we're telling them. And uh, that's, that's why we're winning. All right, this game will probably or has a very good chance of being for the region. Good luck on Friday. Should be a great one. Thank you.